Assalamu alaikum, uh, back for another video. This time it's about parenting and the phone and technology, the gadgets, social media, gaming. Even though they're all separate topics, I'm going to talk generally about technology itself. So the reality now is that just the other day I, I asked uh, a group of youth about the phone and I said, all, anyone who's over the age of 12, can you put your hand up if you ha have a phone or had a phone? And all of them said they've had a phone. So they've all had a smartphone. So the reality is all of our 12-year-olds, with a few exceptions, have a smartphone. So it's already become a part of our lifestyle, our reality. So we can't avoid it. We've got to talk about it. We've got to uh, look at what the harmful effects are, what we can do about the phone. So. The first thing we've seen in the world is the world has been changed by social media. It's been changed by the phone. You know, it's not rocket science. We know what's happening. The mindsets are changing. Mental health is deteriorating. We've got concepts and ideas that are changing in, the, uh, in, in our communities as well. We have our youth who uh, now have new role models who are vloggers, gamers, kids watching other people play video games. Um, all of this is happening and it's having a massive impact on their lives. We have social media showing this, th this glamorous lives of these people that are successful and you know, they're driving around in Ferraris and Lamborghinis, lovely homes, you know, restaurants, sitting on, be on the beach in some exotic place and our kids are sitting at home in their room following these people thinking, I don't have that life, comparing despair, comparing their lives to that glamorous life and then think, well, I don't have that. And it's really bringing our kids down. So they're comparing and despairing. Also, social media itself, what it is doing for our youth is that it is, it's wasting their time and energy. Um, so if, if kids are on social media, what we can do is offer them a compromise. So if they are on social media, they need to be following at least, they do follow Hollywood and Bollywood and and, and their favorite vloggers and, and they do follow them on social media but they need to have a balance where they also follow you know good role models and, and they can be Muslim role models and non-Muslim role models but people that are doing good in the world they need to follow these people and inspirational people so we need to compromise there if it's going to happen. In reality if we just say oh just shut them down and just make them follow everyone we want and force them down that route they're going to do it secretly anyway so let's be real about this. We need them to share what they're doing on, on social media, if they are on it. First, they shouldn't be on it, but if they are, and the reality is most of them are, if they're not openly, they are secretly, that is what is happening. So what we can do is see their account at least, build that trust that we're not going to shout and scream at them, that we can see them and, and we should be allowed to follow them on their social media channels. Um, but really, the solution in my opinion is to sell it to them that is no good for them. The, social media is of no benefit. And I always say this to youth, what are you going to gain from Instagram or Snapchat? What are you doing on there? What are you going to get out of it? So are you going to just watch another guy take a phone and drill a hole through it? You know, that kind of entertainment or pranks, lol, 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 and uh, joking around and silly videos. What are you going to gain from it? So either limit the time that they're on there, I'd say 15 minutes to half an hour in the morning and evening if they're really addicted or less, but fix the time that they're going so they can discipline themselves and control themselves in a world where even parents are addicted to social media. So we can teach them to control themselves, how long they go online, uh, and that should be weekends only. Weekdays they're doing the schoolwork anyway. But uh, get, getting them to divert their attention and energy towards sports, going out and doing other things, maybe write a vlog, make, maybe make their own videos, good useful stuff. But um, we really need to have this discussion because it's already a reality. So. Getting them to understand that this, these videos are no good for you. What are you going to gain from it? And watching the video with them. I say, well, what do you think of this video? Do you think what this guy is doing is good? Or watching your favorite gamer or YouTuber doing something silly. Um, also, what they talk about. Maybe discuss the things that their favorite vlogger or personal Snapchat is talking about. A lot of what our kids do on social media is secret. They follow people that are very undesirable and we don't even know about it. Most of us don't even check their phone, but we should have amicable relationship where we can see what's on the phone uh, in a friendly manner. So completely taking away the phone, 
uh, is uh, not going to work if they're going to get a secret phone, but there is, it can happen, and ha I have seen very few children who actually do not want a phone. They are exceptional, mashallah, Allah reward them, but actually ask for a brick phone or a basic phone. It does happen, <laughs> so it can happen, and you can have kids that really understand the dangers themselves. If you're a really good parent and you're able to convince them and really sell it to them that it has no benefit, which are a few kids like that, but it can happen with du'as and work. They could say, I just want a basic phone. And may Allah make our children from those that, that want the basic phone. So technology is there, it's not going anywhere, it's only going to get more challenging. But what we need to do is control it. If we can't stop it, let's control it. Let's control the amount of time they're on there and who they follow and to add some good to it. So we balance it out and ideally completely change it to good. But I'm talking about the real world here. I'm not talking about theory. In the reality, this is what we can do, inshallah. Don't forget to follow the whole series, inshallah, um, and subscribe and share the videos. Tell everyone about what we're doing for your children, for the youth, for the future generations. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.